there today from somewhere between Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. Uh, we just took this ferry uh, crossing over from um, Nova Scotia to Prince Edward Island. We're going to spend a couple of days on the island uh, and we'll take you to a few spots there. Um, so this ferry uh, that came from Karibu uh, to Woodlands, uh, we're actually at the back of the ferry uh, and it's a little quiet here uh, but it's a really good day. Um, so we, we would like to invite you to come along to uh, Prince Edward Island uh, and see what the island offers uh, to tourists like us. Okay? All right, let's get going. So here we are in Charlottetown, the capital city of Prince Edward Island. We just got off the ferry just about, what, 45, 50 well, minutes 45 ago? 45 minutes, exactly. Yeah. And we have another accent packed item here uh, to uh, celebrate our time here. That party, pedal, what is it called? Pedal pop? It's uh, a yeah. bike, party bike. Party bike or pedal or pop, pedal. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so it's over there we have booked it and we made it for time to and we made it in time to get in here so is it non-stop two and a half hours or we will stop somewhere on the way uh, yeah so it's probably about 10 to 15 minutes to our first stop uh, we'll be stopping at the old triangle oh, okay and then we'll be stopped there for a half an hour and then we'll go around victoria park for 45 minutes and then we'll stop at hunter's ale house sounds really good is it unique to Prince Edward Island, the party bike. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> no, no, is it unique here for the uh, island? We have one here and then we have another one in Halifax. Oh, is that in right? 2018. Oh, I see. Yeah. I heard someone was telling me in Toronto, I don't know whether we have that in Toronto, but in West Canada they do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know about it too. No. No, all right. <laughs> all right, looking forward to the excitement here, man. All okay, right. cool. So this is solar transit system. Actually, you pedal and it generates energy. Other than that, it's working with alcohol. More alcohol you take, more it goes through the bike. That's the way it works. It's, a, it's, all, it's all about alcohol. More alcohol you take, it's driven into your legs and through the bike. That makes it go faster. I'm going to like this guy. <laughs> you sound like an interesting man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am. Yeah, you and I I'm have to talk about things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe after party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? I was I was wondering about the physics here. So we pedal and there there is an axle. So yeah, the, the belts are connected to the drive shaft and the drive shafts are connected to the motor. So the more yeah. you pedal, the less battery we burn. Okay. And then we so, also have our solar panels on the roof that collect oh, okay. the charge. That is in that is the main source of energy up there. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And then we are just complementing. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. And then that way I don't because I had three tours today. This is the third tour. Mm. Oh, yeah. the more you pedal, the better it will be. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> it's an illusion for me. <laughs>
so that was quite a party huh yesterday um, on the pedal pub that took us to some of the spots of the city um, now today uh, we're planning to go uh, explore what this city offers uh, I know there are a couple of very interesting um, locations here uh, very historically important locations that we're gonna explore so let's get going then so we are here in downtown Sally town uh, the capital city of Prince Edward Island um, seems like it's one of the main squares here um, we're planning to go to some of the main attractions uh, of this city today um, so here we are at in front of uh, Confederation Center of the Arts um, so Prince Edward Island has a big contribution to make Canada what I mean by that is um, back in 1864 um, the Maritimers uh, the the heads of the jurisdiction of that time they gather together uh, to create a combined jurisdiction but that idea led to the creation of uh, Canada the Confederation uh, in 1867 uh, and I believe this museum um, has a lot of information about that uh, it's fairly early in the morning 850 maybe the museum opens at 9 o'clock that's why uh, it looks uh, closed right now and you know potatoes are typical uh, to Prince Edward Island um, that's how we tried potato this morning uh, for our breakfast <laughs> the local potato and hey uh, the life here seems pretty laid back um, nine o'clock cross hour uh, in the capital city uh, you can see that's the Ross hour yeah um, yeah it's a pretty laid back life here that's why so many people like to come to Prince Edward Island. There is no hostel and bustle of the city vibe. It's still, there are so many good restaurants. We tried one last night, it was really good. Um, seems like this is one of the main streets of uh, the town. Over that tower building, uh, that could be the municipality. I think I have seen that somewhere or read it. That's the municipality building here. Yeah, we have arrived at the location of the provincial building. Uh, it's going through a renovation right now. So we can't get in. And that's okay. This renovation is happening forever. Right, let's go to the other side of the building. Let's walk on Great George Street, one of the famous streets of uh, this town. Um, you know these see these houses original brick houses they are hundreds of years old at least two three years three hundred years old maybe all Victorian or Georgian time houses and there is a cathedral basilica here which is pretty famous looks pretty cool looks like Notre Dame yeah
Okay, this is Great George Street. Um, this is a hotel. Um, colorful uh, townhouses. Pretty antique type, but they are really beautiful. Just across from the cathedral, uh, these are here. Great George Hotel. So walking on the streets of uh, Salo town gives me an impression um, this town this is not even a city for if we look at from big city lens um, it's a quiet sort of uh, small city uh, on the town side um, and the houses look at these houses you know um, they are pretty historic and good that they have preserved them. There is no need to knock them down and build the, you know, uh, skyline here, right? There is no need. And you're telling me about uh, coming from Nova Scotia to Prince Edward Island yesterday. Uh -huh. um, that you felt like coming from mountains to... To plain the, area? Yeah. yeah like, going, mm -hmm. <laughs> like going to a prairie type of yeah. place. Yeah, so yeah, it looks so plain. Open, open flat area, no yeah. mountains nearby. Yeah, because we drove from um, Cape Breton Island, mm -hmm. uh, which is obviously uh, pretty mountainous. Um, and taking the ferry over to the island, you know, we felt like we came to uh, the plains, the flat land. Well, PEI is very beautiful, uh, for sure. Yeah, see the sand, the soil here is red, right? Yeah. So, what does? <laughs> so here is a here is an interesting thing that I have learned in my childhood that you know. If the soil is red, you get the red potato Not and the red potato, the potato grows faster and bigger. Yeah, and the yeah you get yeah it's a very fertile land for the potatoes. And guess what? Prince Edward Island is known for potato man. <laughs> like this is fairly early in the morning, nine o'clock, so um, not many people are around. Yeah, let's let's walk around and you know what, buddy? Um, you know, in South Africa, there is everything uh, named after Mandela. Um, and here in Prince Edward Island, I noticed majority of things are named after Confederation. Yeah. That's um, yeah, it's a, a tribute to Canada as a nation. Since uh, there is no cruise ship today, that's why the port of Charlottetown seems pretty quiet. When thousands of people come out of the cruise ship, this town gets tourists. They spend a few dollars here. That's how the business goes on. But for now, it's pretty quiet. Do you wanna check out that Confederation Trail? It should be nearby. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go check out Confederation yeah. Trail. Um, and that is dedicated to Canada. Well, let's dedicate that in a walk to Confederation Trail mm -hmm. to Canada. How is that? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Yes. Do something for the land where you live. <laughs> where you call your home. Yeah. Well, do something for everybody, you know.
Yeah, let's walk to uh, the point where you can see the Country Duration Trail. I like these colorful houses here, you know. Yeah. Prince Edward Island is the smallest province in Canada. Do you know the population here? Um, I haven't looked for yet. No, I haven't looked at for that information. So we have arrived at this location of uh, Confederation Trail, that Salo Town section. Um, yeah, let's keep on going inside. and set our foot on the Confederation Trail. How do you feel like walking on Confederation Trail? How do you feel? <laughs> it's it's a, a it's, question to you. Yeah, okay, it's a symbolic thing, right? Always good to know yeah. the history and be there to think. Yeah. How they did and what. That's you know, always good. Any new information you managed to gather? To walk, not this only trail, the overall the trail they have. Mm -hmm. To complete this, it takes about a month. Oh wow. To walk. Yeah. If you walk every day, yeah, twenty to thirty-five minutes, kilometers. Oh wow! <laughs> wow. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's one of the you know benefits of coming to Salo Town to and be able trail. to yeah to be able to walk on the country duration trail. And you were mentioning about Anne Gabriel. <laughs> no. And whatever. Uh, Anne of Golden. Anna yeah, whatever. Yeah. But you read that book, right? When yeah. raising our children, uh -huh. Zunu read that book. We wanted to. Uh, that seems like there's a musical happening here, uh, but unfortunately not today. There is a musical concert happening uh, tomorrow, but we are leaving okay. Shallow Town tomorrow. We can't. So in a way. We missed that. So why don't we try going to the museum? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. All right. Let's head back to the car, mm -hmm. drive the car, uh, and go to check out that museum. All right. Let's get going. So here we are, we are at the location of Anne of Green Gable Museum. Um, yeah, let's take a look around and we can go inside after. Hmm? I like the geographical setup of Prince Edward Island, you know. Just, you know, looking at Charlotte Town. Unless we go around that island, we don't get the clear picture of what island offers. Okay. So driving from, it's actually an hour drive outside of Charlotte Town to get here to the museum. And 
we appreciated the landscape so much um, we could see up and down the hills and all these things it's still you know it gave us an impression of semi prairie type of province uh, not many forests or something there's so much of fertile farmland here I think they produce mostly vegetables and potatoes uh, yeah oh by the way so after we're talking about the population size of Prince Edward Island uh, my wife later on found out uh, it's just over 150,000 yeah. uh, which is equivalent to the size of population size of our uh, city Oshawa in Ontario yeah so that's why it's the villages are scattered the houses are scattered they have big lot for sure big backyard <laughs> the same family still own and live in this house today on that wall over there is Lucy Ma Montgomery herself and she was 20 years old she was married in this house wrote four books about the house and called it the wonder castle of her childhood the furniture in the home today is the same furniture that was here when she was here. Sitting over here on the floor is the blue chest that was written about in the author's favorite novel called The Story Girl. The Story Girl is a true romance story that took place here in 1847. You'll see contents and story from the blue chest when you go upstairs to the author's bedroom. As you go through the home, the first room you'll see is the downstairs guest bedroom. The next room is the parlor, which is where the author was married. In the parlor, you can see the bookcase that was written about in Anne of Green Gables, as well as the organ that was played at the author's wedding. The organ is still played today. Americans and Japanese come here to be married. Go upstairs to the author's own little bedroom, as she called it. You can also see first editions of her books, autographed to the Campbell family, her handmade quilt. Look at the big windows, you'll see the shining waters written about in Anne of Green Gables. Please go through the house, and if you have any questions, you can ask. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, thanks. Thank you. May I leave you? Yes, you can go here and serve with it. Thank you. I have to ask you to your backpack here. Take out any money or is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are all the characters from the story that I have no idea. <laughs> but I appreciate the history here. An experience to know more about Lucy Montgomery's place and her work, um, Anne of Green Gable. It's a fiction book, whatever we call. Uh, my takeaway from this one, you know, um, you don't need to be living in a big city to be famous. Oh, yeah, for sure. so, uh yeah, this is something, you know, my takeaway from this one, you know, she, she came to this remote part of Prince Edward Island back in early uh, 1900s and became famous by writing books and all these things. All right, let's get going to uh, other part of the island. Um, I think we have um, another item on the agenda is to go to um, Shelton Beach. <laughs> you did. Yeah. You did say yeah. That. All right. Okay. Let's go. So we are at Shelton Beach, the beach of red sand and everything. I can see the Confederation Bridge over there. 
uh, we'll go and take a picture of the Confederation Bridge after but for now um, let's go to the beach and walk around here yeah lifeguards on duty today Yeah, the waves are a little bit active, not too much. Um, but see, this end, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at how, how red this is. It's, it's nice. Um, yeah, if it was little bit sunny day today uh, I would really go to do swimming yeah. Hmm? yeah yeah the the water is really nice here for sure it's a swimming well swimming water so the water is really good here though I can see the base okay You know, one thing uh, unique about Prince Edward Island is they have so many lighthouses. Um, <laughs> I almost thought it's the lighthouses capital of Canada or something. <laughs> um, but we are at this uh, Cowhead Lighthouse. Uh, oh no, not the Cowhead. It's called Sea Cowhead lighthouse uh, just nearby Selton Beach uh, at the southern uh, side of the province yeah this looks beautiful for sure seems like there is no problem going to the top of the lighthouse we'll try the cafe after I need to grab a cup of coffee anyways. What's going on? Do you want to go up? Are Do we allowed, allowed to? to go? Yeah. Oh, cool. You're allowed to come in, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. And if you go to the top, there is a fee if you want to go all the way up. Mm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Tickets to the top. Do we need the tickets? Yes. If you want to go all the way to the top, there is a fee. Okay. Yeah, we, we can do that. For two people? For two? Yeah. So it'd be five dollars each. Okay. So we need to get potato too. We need to ask the ladies here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get going up. Oops. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's the view. Okay. Okay, one more stair to go up. Another floor of the lighthouse. Ooh. I've never been to lighthouse. Wow, this is floor number three. Okay, let's get going. Be careful though, you know. Let's mind your head. All right. This is narrow. Upstairs. I think this is the final one, okay. Oh, there is another one, okay. There is another one, all right. How are you doing? Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> You're right, okay, good. 
Yeah. yeah. This one is a little bit tricky though here. Yeah. yeah, mind your head here, okay? And it's narrow. Alright. Mm. So the light is still on though. Yeah. No matter what. In night time you see it. Yeah, I think this light is constantly on. So that mostly the boat people coming from the ocean can see the light lighthouse. That's how they you know find their way to the land. That's the traditional purpose of the lighthouse. But here in PEI, there are so many lighthouses. Yeah, I can see the configuration breeze over there, but I don't know whether my GoPro can capture that. Uh, partly because of the not, not so nice weather right now. It's a little cloudy, a little bit of rainy, all these things. Uh, but that's okay. We'll head, out, head down again and go to another spot of attraction. So, seems like we can buy some vegetables here, including potatoes, uh, unique to Okay, it's a self-service thing. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So they have a lot of stuff here. What do you want to buy? Yeah, did you want to buy something? Hmm? Yeah, it's... They have a bread or a... Yeah. I get one of these. Uh-huh. And then they have a potato. I wanted onion, but I don't have it today. Yeah, did you get potato? Yeah. Yeah, we have to bring it to Ontario. It takes two days to get there, so we can't um, buy from the fridge here. So potato will hopefully be fine. Uh, for until we get to Ontario and we paid here so yeah, the system is told. yeah potato, my name, yeah you name. got it yes and then you just drop your bill here that's it <laughs> yeah this looks like yeah it's a farm for sure I don't know whether my GoPro can capture this view but that's the view of the country duration breeze from Borden Carlton. Uh, I wish the weather was a little bit brighter uh, for us to get a good shot of that. Uh, but I found this spot in Borden Carlton, uh, just right on the main street, at the foot of the main street. Uh, we can get a, this type of shot. Uh, yeah. So this country duration breeze, it's uh, around 12 kilometers, uh, connecting PEI with Nova Scotia. Uh, uh, they say, you know, there are so many adjectives saying the longest breeze on the ice cover water in the world. I assume when it was built, it used to be the longest, um, but uh, this is one of the iconic monuments of this land, of this country, I would say. Uh, yeah, it's over 12 kilometers and we're planning to cross, uh, we're planning to drive on the bridge tomorrow. I heard um, this little town called Victoria is pretty nice, 
so we are stopping by to check it out um, on the coast this is uh, Victoria by the sea uh, seems like there is a barn they call it lobster barn looks like a pier there is a parking despite the inclement weather this rain is not favoring us for sure <laughs> we can't do anything right oh there is another lighthouse okay like i said it's the lighthouse capital of the country <laughs> prince edward island i wonder if people come to go to every single lighthouse here yeah, to count, to experience, yeah, that's, that could be one of the itineraries. I spent a couple of days just to explore the lighthouses here. We get to, we get to adjust ourselves, right? According to weather. According to weather. All right. Where would you like to go? That's the question. Yeah, there are some restaurants around here, lots of cars. You know, sometimes it, it's really good to be a tourist. We make silly mistakes, They're trying to figure out things. <laughs> Okay, right now we are walking on Main Street of Victoria. Um, I assume this is the main attraction. Main Street is the main street of the town. Those who are interested in chocolates and everything, it's right here. I mean, it's beautiful, for sure. Yeah. This is impressive. They have Victoria Playhouse Theatre. That's cool. And I think that's about it from Victoria. Let's turn back here. Yeah, I think when the weather is nice and when a lot of people are around, this area might get yeah, a little busier.
Yeah. Okay guys, that's it from the town of Victoria by the sea. Uh, we'll head back to Charlottetown and we'll check out some of the uh, streets of Charlottetown including um, there is Victoria Row that I'm planning to have dinner tonight. Um, apparently it's one of the attractive hubs of the city. All right, let's go to uh, Sadler Town now. Let's go back to Sadler Town. All right, should we head back? Yes, it's a rain. It's not cooperating. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not gonna bother too much about that. So we are back in Shallow Town. Um, one of the areas that uh, we didn't come earlier because there was no need to come. Um, but for now, uh, there is a need to come because we wanted to have dinner. And this is one of the attractions uh, of the city, Victoria Row, um, that I have heard. Um, there are some good restaurants out here. No car fell out. And the buildings are here. Pretty original. Um, all bricks. And there are patios available. I think we'll go to one of these restaurants. Um, I heard some of the restaurants they do uh, live music as well so we will have to check him out yeah this is not a big you know block for P yeah for PEI standard I think it's very nice. I really like it. I mean, you know, if there was no rain, it would be even better here. So guys, um, I think we're gonna have... What do you think? You wanna, you wanna go for dinner now? Yeah, for this. I think, yeah, yeah, six o'clock. We gotta head out tomorrow. Uh, Alright guys, we're gonna have dinner, uh, but we'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? So guys, with that drive on the configuration breeze, I think we are going to wrap up the video. Um, we uh, we took ferry from Nova Scotia to go over to Prince Edward Island the other day. We explored a few attractions there. We bought potatoes. Uh, we saw the potato farmland and everything. Uh, now it's time to leave the island. Uh, we are back in New Brunswick. Uh, so. We're gonna wrap up the video uh, for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep watching our video. Uh, We're going back home now. Uh, we'll see you next time, all right? Thank you.